Batman, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel American Rotter. My name is Solon and in tonight's video I found you 10 rat rods that are for some lower income budgets and some higher income budgets. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Smash that like button. Be sure to turn on your notification bell so you'll get a notification the next time we have a new video in three days. Now like in every video, the links to the cars and you see tonight can be found in the video description. Just go in there and click on the link and it'll take you straight to that car. Now tonight's commentary question is this, what is your most favorite car movie? Example, maybe it might be Christine, it might be The California Kid, it might be American Graffiti. But drop your answer in the comments and for fun we'll see what everybody says. Right now I'm going to ask Hot Rod Haley, if she will, to go ahead and start the countdown, and let's get into the video. One. Okay, guys, this is a 1929 Ford two-door sedan with custom suicide doors on it, featured in Shreveport, Louisiana, listed for $18,000. Now, the seller does not list a lot of information about this vehicle, nor does he have a lot of pictures. But we'll go with what we got and you can contact him in the links and get additional information if needed. The mileage is unlisted. It has an automatic transmission. The exterior color is green and the interior color is black. The seller listed as a 29 rat rod four sedan with suicide doors, white walls on the front with Hummer tires on the back. It says it is a very fun rod to drive. Okay, here's one you don't see every day. This is a 1955 Jeep Willis pickup rat rod listed in Tallahassee, Alabama for $11,000. Now, what the seller lists on this is that the uh, has automatic transmission, the mileage is unlisted, the exterior color is black, and the interior color is black. Seller's description is as follows. 1955 Jeep Willis truck with a chopped top, has a 305 Chevy engine, a 350 turbo transmission, a 9 inch Ford rear end with adjustable coilovers. The bed has been lined with black spar polyurethane and has a wooden bed top. All four tires are like new. It has new disc brakes, new Elderbrock carburetor, new plugs, new wires, new distributor cap, a new B&M shifter, new LED headlights, new double roller timing chain and timing chain cover, has a new breather, new oil pan gasket, new intake gasket, new manifold gasket, has a brand new front grille, and he's asking 11000 cash or best offer. So here's your chance to get a really fun looking, good looking rat rod for best offer. He is interested in trading for something interesting. Sold with a bill of sale, which is only required in Alabama. And he has a video available for serious inquiries only. Three. Okay, this one is a 1929 Ford Model A listed in Charlestown, Indiana. And it was originally $35,000 when listed 10 weeks ago, but now it's been marked down to $29,900. It has automatic transmission. The exterior color is brown and the interior color is brown. Vickle has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. 1929 Ford Model A with bags on the rear, dual compressors. No known issues with the vehicle but it does have new 8,000 custom built 383 stroker motor with less than 10 miles on it. 400 turbo transmission. This car has good brakes on it. 
has coker tires and he says it's ready to drive he said the car sounds amazing gets thumbs up and questions from bystanders anywhere it goes it's a fun car with no issues but they just don't drive it enough to keep it around the seller may consider all or partial trade for a late model three-quarter ton diesel pickup in good shape or other vehicles of interest four okay guys this one is a 1930 ford rat rod two-door sedan listed in lancaster south carolina for eighteen thousand dollars now it's been driven eighty thousand and eighty five miles since its build it has automatic transmission the exterior color is brown and the interior color is black the seller is the third owner of this vehicle and it has a clean title seller's description is as follows 1930 ford sedan rat rod with clean title it has a 496 stroker motor with a 400 turbo transmission has new coker tires with wide white walls it has an s10 rear end and a custom metal interior it has air shocks and he says if you don't like attention do not buy this car too many custom modifications to list it's extremely loud a mean machine and he'll take 18,000 or best offer so if you like this car like I say in the other videos put on your negotiation hat and negotiate for it five okay I wanted to take a moment to remind everyone that if you're interested in any of these cars you can go to the videos description area and in that you'll find links to each one of these cars click on that link and it will take you to the ad where the car is up for sale so you can get additional information if needed now this one here is a 1939 Ford pickup listed for $25,000 in Nightdale, North Carolina the mileage is unlisted the seller listed as having an automatic transmission the exterior color is black and the interior color is white the description is not very much from the seller but here's what he's got fully built 39 Ford rat rod this is a driver too much to list if interested message me and we can talk on the phone everything new front to back this is a sharp little rat rod that gets plenty of attention 25,000 or best offer six okay guys this next one is listed as a 1934 Ford pickup I'm not for sure about that body style if that's a 34 or not but I could be wrong if you happen to agree or disagree drop it uh, in the comments and let me know but he's got listed for $25,000 in Monroe North Carolina he lists the mileage at 10,000 miles he says the exterior color is black and the interior color is red has a clean title and here's the seller's description 1934 Ford rat rod truck with a 72 Corvette motor with three deuces has a wooden bed square tube frame a 9 inch Ford rear end and a 700 R transmission and lots more 25,000 or best offer Okay, this next one up is a 1942 Dodge pickup truck rat rod. Was $16,000, marked down to $11,995. And I know I'm going to butcher this, but I think it's Nacogdoches, Texas, is where it's listed at. Here's how the seller lists this vehicle. List the mileage at just over 50,000 miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is brown, has a clean title, and here's what the seller says. Own the one and only Fluster Cuck truck. I don't know what that means, but that's what he's got in the ad. 
It has a 383 stroker engine with automatic transmission. He says it runs great and you must see it to appreciate this one of a kind work of art. Well, I agree. All rat rods, each one of them are one of a kind and each of them are definitely works of art. 11,995 has been marked down. If you're interested in a car, contact this gentleman and negotiate. Eight. Number eight is a 1936 Chevy pickup. Rat Rod listed in Charleston, Illinois. Was $25,000 and he's marked it down to $20,000. The vehicle has 20,000 miles on it since it was built. Has automatic transmission. The exterior color is gray. The interior color is black. And he is the second owner of this vehicle. It does have a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. This is a nice little hot rod truck. Cab and frame have been chopped three inches. It has a rigid roll cage inside. New items includes a straight axle, new disc brakes, new bushings, new high performance shocks, new 15 inch wheels with nearly new tires with roughly 15,000 miles on the tires currently. Chassis consists mostly of aluminum trim has new halo LED headlights, also has a new fuel cell with lines, new bed cover, new wood floor, new tie rods, new bearings, new spindles, and new calipers. The engine is a 70s 350 small block with new cam, new high-rise Holley 650 carburetor, new vintage style scoop, new fuel pump, new water pump. The mufflers and headers are wrapped. He is the second owner and looking for serious inquiries only. Nine. All right, this one is a 1926 Dodge pickup rat rod listed in Radcliffe, New York. This vehicle was 19,500, but now has been reduced down to 15,500. And here's what the seller says about it. The mileage is unlisted has automatic transmission. It is black on the exterior color and the interior color is red. Seller's description is as follows. This is a cool little rat rod, a 1926 Dodge pickup, Fall City Beer Rat Rod. Has a 225 slant six with a 727 torque flight transmission. He said this is a true rat rod and rides like a tank, but a very cool tank. He's interested in selling, but also interested in trading for possible 55 Chevy two-door, 57 Gasser, or 32.5 Window Coupe. He will trade up with cash, or he'll add a 75 El Camino. He has five hot rods and likes trading around. He's had this one for several years and is now ready for a change. So if this rat rod is something you enjoy, guys, he's already marked it down. I don't think you could build one for 15500 but either way, give him a call or contact him through the link in the description. 10. Okay, the last one tonight is a 1927 Ford Model T rat rod listed in Birmingham, Alabama for Okay, this car has only been driven 500 miles since its build. Has automatic transmission, the exterior color is black, and the interior color is black. This vehicle has a clean title. Seller's description is as follows. It has a 350 Chevy engine with a small camshaft, has aluminum heads, a 2x4 intake manifold, has two 390 CFM carburetors, turbo 450 transmission it has an s10 pickup rear end has four wheel disc brakes has an auxiliary radiator slide open front windshield the wheelbase is 120 inches it has msd ignition auto meter gauges the rear tires are 29 by 14.5 by 15 hoosier front tires are 16 
by 80 by 15. It has American racking rear rims on it. It has rocket front rims, tilt steering wheel, a low car shifter. This car has been professionally built and completed by Welch Company Hot Rods in Clanton, Alabama. And guys, you saw that I gave it my Editor's Choice Award, because I think this is probably the best one of the video. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And be sure to turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified when our next video comes out in the next three days. And let's give Hot Rod Haley a hand for her wonderful work in counting down. Until then, guys, see you in the video.